Understanding, catching something, a deep dive into English phrases. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English phrases, specifically the versatile expression, catching something. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced learner, understanding these phrases can significantly enhance your English fluency. So, let's get started and uncover the various meanings and uses of catching something. At its most basic, catching something refers to the physical act of grasping or capturing something in motion. For example, catching a ball thrown in your direction. This use is straightforward and relates directly to the physical action involved. When not used in the physical sense, catching something often refers to becoming infected with an illness. Saying, I caught a cold, means that you have become ill with a cold virus. This metaphorical use emphasizes the idea of illness as something that can be transmitted and captured like a physical object. Another common use of catching something is in the context of hearing or understanding something that was said. For example, I didn't catch that, could you repeat it? Here, catching means to comprehend or grasp the information being communicated. In a more figurative sense, catching something can also refer to seizing an opportunity or finding a good deal. Phrases like catching a break, or catching a sale, imply taking advantage of a favorable situation or offer. A more modern and colloquial use of the phrase is in the expression, catching feelings, which means developing romantic or affectionate emotions towards someone. This usage highlights the involuntary aspect of developing feelings, similar to catching an illness. And there you have it. The phrase, catching something, can be used in a variety of contexts, each with its own unique meaning and nuances. From the literal to the metaphorical, understanding these uses can help you navigate English conversations more effectively. We hope this video has been enlightening and that you're now more confident in using and understanding the phrase, catching something. Don't forget to practice, and see you in our next video. Happy learning!